Thank you for joining me here today on my top five from Tata Harper. Now I just want to say right off the bat, and you probably already know this, that Tata Harper is a very expensive line. So I am in no way trying to justify the cost of these products. They are expensive. I would say only purchase them if maybe you're able to try samples first, if you can pop over to Sephora and get some samples, or if you really feel like the ingredient list is something that you would really be interested in because I would hate for you to waste your money on these products since they are very expensive expensive, but I do have five in my collection that I really, really love. And I think I would probably repurchase all of them. Maybe there's two that I'm still on the fence about, but these are my top five Tata Harper products. So let's go ahead and jump right in to my number one fave from Tata Harper. And you probably already know this if you've watched my channel at all, watch my empties videos. This is the Regenerating Cleanser. And this is four ounces for $82. Now, I don't think I have purchased this full price probably ever. I always wait for either the Sephora VIB sale or I can't remember where, where else I've purchased it, but other places like Detox Market that carry Tata Harper when there's a discount code. So I try to save as much as I can on this product because I do really love it and it is something that I always want to have. Now the situation with the regenerating cleanser is there is a very mild micro exfoliant in this formula and it is, let's see, apricot seed powder. It's very, very gentle. You can use it every day. I've never had any kind of bad reaction to, you know, feeling like I've over exfoliated my skin with this product. It also has BHA in it from white willow bark. It's got calendula in it, white kale and clay. So it's a really beautiful formula. And how I like to use it is typically over a balm or an oil that does not rinse off with water. I will use this as the emulsifying you know, product to kind of do that double cleanse. So I like to do a really nice massage with either an oil or a balm, maybe even let it sit um, on my face for a while to really get in that moisture, or I might use a balm in the shower. And if it doesn't rinse off by itself, then I will use this to um, remove it. So I, I love it. I love the smell. I love the texture. It's just something that I've had for years and years now, and I always want to have it. So that is why it is my number one favorite. I don't know if I mentioned before already that there are other Tata Harper cleansers that I'm not crazy about. I think there's maybe a purifying one. I, there's either, there's two or three other Tata Harper cleansers and I'm just not a huge fan of those. This one is definitely my favorite and the only one that I have ever repurchased. So now that we've mentioned my favorite cleanser, let's talk about a moisturizer and this is the Retinoic Nutrient Face Oil. I have the 10 mil roller ball. You might see that I have a different label here because it used to be called the Replenishing Nutrient Complex, um, but they have since renamed it. But from what I understand, the uh, formula is the same. And as you can see, there's a steel roller ball in there. And this is $48 for 10 mils. Again, very expensive product. This might be worth it to you if you want a really beautiful oil serum that's easy to travel with. So that's when I typically use this product is when I'm on vacation or traveling. This has rosehip seed oil, borage leaf extract, calendula extract, really beautiful ingredients in here. And the smell is really lovely. It's not overpowering, it's not offensive. Kind of just has that talk to Harper smell if you're uh, familiar with her products. And then another moisturizer that I really like from her is the Illuminating Moisturizer. I purchased this kind of on a whim. I had a gift card from Sephora, I believe. So I went ahead and purchased this. It is $85 for one ounce. I'm gonna keep saying this, you know, kind of on the expensive side for sure. This has shea butter in it, so I know several of you have issues with shea butter, so that's good to know right off the bat if that is an issue. It does have rosehip seed oil in here, honey, rice extract, willow bark, borage seed oil, or I don't know if it's actually borage seed oil or borage extract, but it has borage in it. Um, you can use this on its own if you kind of just like that dewy, illuminating glow on your skin without any foundation. You can mix it with your foundation or you can use it on top of foundation like a highlighter. So let me just show you what it looks like. And I put quite a bit here, so let me remove some and then you can hopefully see the texture. There's a little bit of light coming in, so I don't know if you can kind of see the glow that it gives. 
but it's pretty subtle and it's really pretty. And again, has that Tata Harper smell that I really do enjoy. It's a little bit, it kind of reminds me of like a Dr. Hauschka, but light scent. So like a light Dr. Hauschka scent. If I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that's what it really reminds me of, especially the regenerating cleanser. Kind of has that aromatic kind of floral combination. So I really like using this under foundation. It's a nice glowy primer. So if you're into that, I do highly recommend this. But having said that, I think it would be good if you've never used it before, try to get a sample from Sephora before you do purchase the full size. I think actually this, there's a 30 mil size and a 50 mil size and I have the 30, yeah, I have the 30 mil or one ounce size. Okay, and then just a couple more and these are in the cosmetic realm and I have this on today. This is the Be Adored. I don't know if they call it like a lip balm or lip color. I don't know the exact name. Let's see, what do they call it? Tinted lip treatment, that's what they call it. And this is what the color looks like. There's only one color and a dedicated lip product from Tata Harper. And I do have this on my lips today. I'm gonna move in a little bit closer so you can see the color. The texture is really beautiful. It feels really good on the lips. It's very smooth, creamy, but light. And this color is actually perfect for me because if I just want to be wearing a red lip, uh, but I don't want to get too dramatic, which is not really in my wheelhouse. I don't like wearing, you know, really bright or deep, dark red tones, but I do like to wear it sometimes. So this is perfect for me, just a really pretty red. So the makeup that I have on here today, I put on earlier when I filmed my get ready with me video in the bathroom. So I will link to that if you are curious about this look. What I did though is from that look, it was very, very glowy and dewy from the Kosas foundation oil, which I like, but I did didn't want it to be as dewy as it was. So the only changes that I made from that video, if you want to go over and watch that, is I did apply a little bit of my Jane Iredell Pure Press Base around my nose and on my forehead. So it wasn't so just like crazy glowy. It's just a little bit too glowy for me. And then I changed my lipstick in that video I have on the Kosas Rose Water. So I changed it out for this video to the Be Adored uh, by Tata Harper, obviously, since it's my favorites video here for Tata Harper. Okay, the last thing I wanna mention, and I absolutely love these, are her uh, lip and cheek tints. And this is what the pot looks like. Super cute, and I love it because the color, you know, they have the color-coded sticker on the back so you know what you're reaching for. And this color is in Very Sweet, and it is just a nice neutral pink. Uh, not too peachy, not too browny. I feel like it's just right there in the middle of what I like. And I will apply some here on the back of my hand so hopefully you can get a feel for what it looks like. They go on pretty sheer, but you can build them up very easily. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks right here. Looking in the viewfinder. <laughs> So it's just really easy to put on. You can definitely use it on your lips. I wear these on my lips all the time. I have three other colors that I really love. This one right now is probably my favorite one, the Very Sweet, but I think I have Very Popular. I definitely have Very Naughty, which is their red. So that pretty much does it for my top five from Tata Harper. These are definitely the products I would buy again. I'm a little on the fence about the oil just because it is so expensive, but I've got to say I love having this handy rollerball for travel. And then I'm also a little bit on the fence if I would purchase this illuminating moisturizer again. I do really love it when I use it, but I don't find that I reach for it all that often. And since it is so expensive, I just don't know if it's worthwhile. So I'll see how long this bottle lasts me. It's gonna take me a long time to finish it, so I don't see that I'm gonna be needing to repurchase it anyway anytime soon. So what might be the deciding factor is if it does start to turn or go off. So we'll see about that one but I do really love all five of these. And of course the regenerating cleanser is just an absolute favorite of mine. No doubt in my mind that I will be repurchasing that again. And then as far as these two products go, it kind of depends on, again, sort of what I was talking about with the illuminating moisturizer. I, these are gonna last me for quite a while. So it just sort of depends on what is gonna happen first, me finishing it or the product actually turning. So we'll see. 
but I will keep you posted on that. So that's gonna wrap up my top five from Tata Harper. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what your favorites are from Tata Harper. And if you just don't have any, let me know what your experience has been with the brand. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I always appreciate your support. If you like this video, show me your support and give me those thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. That would just mean so much to me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.